Am I still wa am I still wafting over to Patrick? Do you it's do like that a, too? It's a pacifier I think it's to bad me. Posture. I just <laughs> I do the same thing. So I will. I, got I keep trying to move away, but it's magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> He's got sense. a magnetic. It's a, that's a thing that. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. <laughs> Guys, uh, we saw the movie. I'm laughing about. We saw the movie last night, and it's easily it one of the most. It is a funny one. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> easily the most terrifying movie I've ever seen. I would say since The Exorcist, it's probably the best horror movie I've ever seen. Cool. And you guys were, the, the casting and everything was incredible about this. When you are taking on a role like this, and it's based on something that very well could be real, depends on what we believe in, <coughs> and you push so hard with what you did on screen, do you ever get kind of concerned that you're too much into that character or maybe going to disturb something mm. as an actor? Mm. The answer is yes, mm -hmm. but uh, I, she can, because <laughs> she was freaked out. So. I was. The, every, every, from the moment that I read this three, three o'clock thing happens in the middle of the witching hour thing, every yeah. Did you night notice it? I would wake up, grab my cell phone, 307, 307. Oh. I would walk into Finn and get to his room, like expecting to see them levitate. I, I was paralyzed. I really yeah. took his heart. He didn't. He giggled through Seriously? it. Seriously? I found it funny. No. <laughs> Which is very much like Ed and Lorraine. I mean, Ed was very practical. Practical Lorraine yeah. is well, very you're, esoteric. You're, you're Ed was kind of a guy that was <laughs> kind of um, pretty darn strong, actually. I don't yeah. think, I don't, th I don't think he was afraid, or was he? Well, I th you know, I think he felt that. I think the reason that he became one of the preeminent demonologists in the in the world was, and he, he was so because he he did not have the the, the gift of clairvoyance that Lorraine had and sure. he still has. Uh, I keep pointing to there because she's over there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she actually is. <laughs> um, but I think he you know so for his part he felt like well then I'm going to study this. I'm going to know everything that I can read. Mm -hmm. and, I mean the the church would come to him. You know that's incredible. I isn't mean it? he yeah. th then that's true. He was just this. He, so so it was very practical. It was very pragmatic. And so it was his job to debunk anything that wasn't outlandish or yeah. that wasn't paranormal. But he must have been afraid, man. He was human. And if he was, Absolutely. he didn't show it. I mean, well, this that was, was a spiritual thing. You're talking warfare. about a guy from a different time, yeah. you know, that was from like... From the 50s, man. Yeah. It's, it's, men it's, didn't it's, show emotion back then. So machismo the that was, yeah. Blue-collar yeah. guy that was going to, you know, at the first thing he's going to do is protect his family. Right. You know, and the, and then protect those around him. But but that was that was him. Do, do you... um. This movie, once again, it was so intense. What, what, what ended up on the screen, mm -hmm. and hilarious, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um, we tried to it. Some what, people may giggle through it. I mean, it's, it's amazing how people interpret people are odd, right? fear. But do, does, does this stuff, when you finish, when you cut at the end of the day or when you finish the movie, does it kind of follow you home a little bit? Do, is it, can, you just, can you dust yourself on and walk away? I, I walked to... I, the research beforehand, once we started filming, it was fine. The research beforehand and living in that headspace and really buying into her whole world mm -hmm. and worldview uh, and considering negative mysticism in a way that I've never, I never have. Um, it was I, I, it's very strange. I sit and think about this now, but I think the things that started to hit me was when we started to get into, without giving spoilers away, those who haven't seen it, but when, when we start... <coughs> quoting the Bible, when we start getting into that stuff. For me, it's probably growing up in Episcopal church and, you know, wow. granted I didn't have the Latin, but certainly, again, when you're dealing with whether it's good or bad, anything sort of outside of yourself, you know, for me, I, it just, it strikes a chord. I think as, as, as anything when you're dealing with paranormal experiences are very personal to but what you are yeah. open to. You know, I think mm -hmm. each person has that different ability or, or whether they know it or not. So... For me, I think when I got into the religious stuff, mm. for some reason, that sort of set a trigger with me. Mm. I don't know if it was just growing up in a, in a church and, mm. right. you know, for whatever that meant to me. But then I sort of wore it a little then. Um, mm. the just an incredible, incredible movie, guys. Thank you so much. Thank it was you. very nice meeting you and talking to you guys you. tonight, huh? Based on a true story. In 1971, the Perrin family moved into their dream home. It's gonna be great. But they didn't know it was the site of a brutal murder in 1863 and countless horrors in the century that followed. What happened to the parents in that house was so disturbing the family has refused to speak of it. Until now. 
first day. We fell in love with the house. I get my own room. The owner says, do you and your family a favor, Roger. He says, keep the lights on in this house at night. A couple of days later, it came back to me, and I had an idea that something was wrong. From day one, there was a heaviness, and there was a scariness. Things began to happen in the house. We started to see multiple spirits in the house. It's standing right behind you. Because I was the youngest and the most vulnerable, I was approached more than anyone, and I actually had a relationship with that boy. I think something bad happened to him. Follow me this way. I had gone to bed. I opened my eyes. The apparition started to come down to me. 